I started sculpting late in my art career. I was 29 years old. It finally dawned on me after you know being almost 30 that that um, figures and dolls and all that were sculpted. That artists sculpted these things. And once that clicked, I thought I have to try this. So this was the first head I did. I always keep this thing around because it reminds me where I came from. <laughs> but it wasn't so bad for a first attempt. But I, I looked at it, thought it was awful, and kind of put it away for about a year and didn't sculpt again, you know, till, till I was in my 30s. And eventually, I dipped it in paint. When I picked it up out of the paint, I thought, wow, it had some sort of human look. That got me motivated to try it again. And then once I, once I really started, then there was no stopping me. I started out my career sculpting one way. I would look at the form, the outside shape, and try to, try to mimic that in my sculpts. And I, I got by on that for a long time. But I realized later, if I want to get to another level, that I really have to learn anatomy. And you know, I started taking classes again a couple of years ago, and uh, I, I'm really getting to know anatomy better. And I'm always late at things, you know, <laughs> almost, you know, in my mid to late 50s, and I'm still uh, uh, going to school to learn this stuff. But uh, you always got to try to get better. I have a great guy I've worked with for a number of years in Chicago. He's an engineer, and. Uh, I'll send this off to him. He'll cut the head off, the arms and the legs, and then he'll make molds of that, and then he'll put them into wax. This is wax, and it's, it's like a candle wax, except that it's a very hard wax, and you can polish it and clean it. You can also engineer it and drill it, and you know, so what this does is it gets the wax ready for a mold for production. It's a long and involved process.